Hey, Wyoming, son of majority. Welcome back to Leveled Writing. I am Nost Moss. Today again, we are talking about discovery and we're in setting incidents. Today we're talking about unexpected consequences and Chekhov's gun. Um, unexpected consequences, we're going to go into D&D. Probably the best way to incorporate um, unexpected unexpected coincidence uh unexpected like incidents or um yeah so for this one the um let's start with my campaign so in my campaign i had i have a I have a monk character Pardon me. Um, of a monk character. He, uh, he is very emo, emotionally attached to his owlbear companion. What the? And. When approaching the wave echo cave, the he told the people the owl bear to. Um, what was it? What did he tell the yellow bear to, to just, just stay outside? After about an hour, for about an hour, more or less, uh, the party took a short rest. Again, an hour. I rolled for an encounter. Nothing significant happened when they when they woke. The monk hears hears footsteps by the by the entrance to to the um to the cave he leaves the the cave to check on his owlbear friend and and converses with animal speech, I think. It says, it says pointing towards the north, north, that that small round cloaked figure ran out of the cave. It didn't even acknowledge. It didn't even acknowledge us. Yes. This creature. This creature, unbeknownst to everyone, was a 
for sure. Boom, boom. It was within it was within their 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 vision. It was within their vision and they chose to do nothing about it. I decided it would have taken taken this cool cool twelve hours to get to Pendolin. Sixteen hours later my party manages to return to it ablaze unexpected consequence but i needed something to happen and it was too many juggling uh too many like balls in the air to to expect my party to go there stop the cobalt come back this plus there was the other party members were still inside Sorry. We would have we taken a bit of time to catch the cobalt. Well, well, on the mission to open the mines. So it's unexpected, but like nothing came of this that didn't benefit the party. So it was quite nice. Now, if you want to do research on this topic, we have subreddits for D and D. There are subreddits. Heck, we even have uh. It's Reddit, right? We have subreddits and a D and D channel that read D and D, &D stories, which are interesting channels. We do have channels for these on YouTube that uh, read some of the more lame stories. But one of them catches my mind. Now, I don't know what this was, but in a D&D &D campaign, there was a... There were actually two stories, actually. Not anything that was a story of a... What was it? I forget the exact race, but I believe this guy was a paladin. A paladin who... Uh, Helen or Barbarian, one of the two, who found a mask that boosted his strength, but lowered, but lowered another stat. This item was... Ah, uh, like meant. Zion was meant. Uh, like, what was the word I'm looking for? Some item is like meant to. Uh, like this item was. It was like test, I think, or something. The idea behind it, it like the item had. 
a DC it failed that lord. This got to the point in which the which the character wearing it um Uh, lost it. Lost in, in battle and didn't notice that their stats were so low. Kind of like, like you don't know until it's too late kind of idea. I have another D&D story. I kind of remember this one. Uh, a an arrow arrow chakra uh arrow chakra what do we call it um paladin of one's self self um this. This ends in in the Paladin Pseudo God God uh, trapped within a maze of mirrors. Uh, so having a Mirror to insight, prayer into to to get this place. Thank you. To in, into having a mirror to insight, prayer into to grant. Uh. a portion of his divine power into his spellcasting. This ends in Maze of Mirrors. Like, kind of, it's kind of like that. If we want to extrapolate this further, It's kind of like, well, Chekhov's gun, as well as, like, we call it Chekhov's gun or monkey spot, but it's, if we going to take this to Yu-Gi-Oh! One of the things I liked about uh, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole, actually. Let's not talk about the show Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's talk about the card games I remember. I remember, uh, what was it called? I think it was Dueling Book. Or Dueling Network. Something like that. I remember Dueling. Guy. I, I stared... I stared down by a by a five-headed dragon. I stare down by a five. I am stared down by a dragon with five thousand attack points. I sync. I synchro for six and summon. Celestial Starwolf. I had another synchro monster you know who to fight a depowered uh five headed 
dragon. I crash my wheel you know, into the 5k beast and drop to only like what was it 2000 something life points he is 5k monster drops to a more comfortable 600 k monster my opponent only had like 400 life points left or something something like that something like that I attack with my 3000 attack mo monster this is kind of like like you can't beat me now and it's like well i'll crash with this and that will lower your monster yeah so my monster attacks over you okay and oh crap i lost and that's kind of what we're going for here and now uh, you're probably wondering why am i bringing chekhov's gun into this Chekhov's gun is the idea that if you bring up something, it should be used. Thing or like that's the point of Chekhov's gun. If you bring up something or you put something into a scene, it should be used. What, uh? I find that Chekhov's gun fails is that there that it's implying or that it's it's implied that if a gun is in scene one of of your play by scene three it to be used. Um, so, <laughs> so anime extrapolates this to the nth degree now. <laughs> like, any, uh, any, f no, not fantasy, what's the word? Any harem or any, uh, what's the word? Any fantasy. Mm. Or, or romance. I said fantasy game, I like, or romance anime. I uh, get the couple together by the very damn end. Um, of the show. Kind of play with it. Kind of play with it. That's kind of the way I go about it. This is how I do things. It's what I am. I create. I connive. I scheme. I really do this. I do this really well, actually. I never run out of steam, almost. G-powered should be hyped. Um, that's about all I got. Tune in. Yeah, tune in, uh... Keep tuning in, remember, Monday's my birthday stream. Twitch.tv slash not the boss, link in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. And see you there too. Till next time, okay? Ciao.